If you have a dog that has recently been to an animal shelter, you may have noticed that it is feeling under the weather. When she came back, she was, everything was fine. She was her normal self, glad to be home. And uh, about four days later, she uh, came down with a miserable hacking cough. Alex's dog Molly was cared for at the SPCA, but she had contracted kennel cough, the canine version of an upper respiratory infection. A little bit coughing, you can hear them. And just a lot of times in their um, kennels and stuff, they'll have, it looks like just like spit. Although it's not usually deadly, kennel cough is highly contagious. When you go to one dog and pet it, and just like um, any other disease control, anytime you touch a a uh, handle at Walmart, you can be exposed to um, any number of bacteria and viruses. So um, now that I've um, spent time in here with Jackson, I'll have to make sure I disinfect my own um, hands before I move on to a dog that's not sick. Three or four days after Molly came down with the cough, Corona came down with the hacking cough, and she's been producing lots and lots of phlegm ever since, whereas Molly's kind of cleared up by now. Usually, kennel cough can run its course in two weeks. Dog owners are advised, however, to take their dogs to a vet if they notice yellow phlegm or if the dog is still a puppy. Kennel cough is treated with antibiotics and should go away within seven to 10 days. If symptoms get worse and are untreated, however, further complications may develop. For more information on kennel cough, visit the website on the screen.